Alright guys, the West Coast Arachnids. Right now you're probably seeing nothing but black. But I assure you the camera is on. The reason is my S Calciatum is out and walking around. And we're gonna try and get it on video. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna do this without scaring it back into the hide. there you just see the back end of it now I'm gonna hit it with some light and we'll see if it stays out for a few seconds This is molted. I don't know why it's out of its hide. Maybe it's looking for some water. Its water dish is kind of empty. As soon as the substrate hits that water, it kind of sucks it right out. Maybe that's it. He's getting wet and he doesn't like it. It does look like there's a water line there. And that's her there. Her or him. It's getting pretty big. <clears throat> it might just be a her. I think I see a, a furrow there. Just getting out the uh, tape measure. Let's see if I can't get a measurement. I'm just going to go from the one inch mark so that it's correct. So, as stands, if she was a stretch out, she'd be three inches. She's two and three quarter inches now. Pretty much. Camera's on a weird angle, so it doesn't show you the correct measurement. It looks like it's off, but it's bang on when you're looking at it from the front. <clears throat> oh, she's scrunching right up. Let's see if we can get a top view of it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Coughing and stuff in. <clears throat> Getting that flu again that's going around. <clears throat> I tried to do a herping video the other day and it didn't go so well. I did find some frog eggs and I found a frog that hopped away but I couldn't get it on video before it took off. Jumped into the water and down underneath the log. <coughs> Shall we be daring? I would dare to try and take the whole thing off but if I wiggle it around that much he's just gonna bolt. Now I don't know why she's out. Curious. He he. Could be a could be a he. Very long legged. I think it's just because it's wet down there. I'm gonna see if I can look inside of her hide and see if it's wet in there. There she is, in her glory. She's getting quite large. I mean, she's yeah, she's a good three inches. <coughs> Sorry about the shakiness. I'm gonna video and hold this flashlight. Actually, see where she is. Make sure she doesn't bolt out on me. If I 
I put a cricket in there. I'm just gonna pause you for a minute. I'm gonna grab a cricket out and we'll stick it in there and see if she'll eat. I very highly doubt it, but we'll see. Okay. Then I'm gonna cook it out just here. It's about a medium size. There she is. I'll drop it in front of her there and see if she'll take it. Sorry about the glare on there. There's not a lot I can do about it. If I pull it any closer, it gets blurry. If I pull it back, the glare gets worse. to shine this light directly on her. Oh, it's just climbing right over her. No, she's too spooked. What I'll do is uh, put her back. I think it's been dark in the room the whole time. It's midday, but the curtains are shut and the blinds are shut. And You saw it with the light off. It was pretty dark. Um, so I think she's just... Uh, she was just out for a walk in the dark, and I caught her, uh, caught her out. So we'll just close that up. I'm gonna leave that cricket in for a bit. I'm gonna put her back. We're gonna check on a few other teas. But uh, we're gonna make that for another video. Anyway, that's just a quick update on the. Uh, Stromatopelma calciatum, uh, the feather leg baboon, it's an African species, it's about uh, half grown I think, <clears throat> well as far as uh, length goes, I mean, when she gets big she's going to be a heck of a lot bigger than that, uh, that little container is just not going to hold her. <clears throat> anyway, cricket's running around, I'm going to put some water in her dish. I can do that right now. I'll show you how I do that. Just to get a little humidity in there. I don't know why she's out. <clears throat> just put it there, pour it right through the top, and fill her, fill her dish up. Um, I think maybe. I don't know. If she continues to stay out there, what I'll do is completely, I'll have to rehouse her. Uh, I'll rehouse her in the same container. I'll just get her a different hide. I think she's outgrowing that one. Uh, I do have something that I'm going to put her in. I might put her in a different enclosure altogether. I don't know. She's quite big since the last molt. She molted a week or so ago. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just rehouse her completely and put her into a new hide. Uh, I don't want to put her back in the tall ones. They're a little too hard to maintain uh, until she's a little larger. She's not really an arboreal anyway. More of a, a ground dweller, a burrower. Um, they they kind of they kind of live all over the place, you know, they'll live up in the trees, in the hollows of the trees, and down at the base of a tree, and they'll dig in the dirt. So they're kind of an all over species, wherever they can find a little hole they'll, they'll build a home in. <clears throat> or if they can't find one, they'll make one. Uh, but, uh, very beautiful species. Anyway, we'll uh, shut this off, it's already at 10 minutes. Um, that's West Coast Arachnids. Uh, that's your S. Calciatum. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, girl. Alright. You guys have a great day. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye for now.